My Twitter and Facebook accounts absolutely blowing up today. A lot of questions from everyone out there about how could all this happen? What exactly did happen? What does it mean? And what is next for Amanda Knox? In the next two hours, we're going to try to answer all of those questions for you. But let me begin here with how on earth did we get to where we are? And what you have to do is take a look at the Italian system of justice. And here's what happened in the Amanda Knox case, okay? Let's go back. We'll go back to 2009 in the trial court. There's actually three courts. There's the trial court, appellate court, Supreme Court. In the trial court back in 2009, she was found guilty. Okay? She appealed that to the appellate court, who had a brand new trial. In that brand new trial, the appellate court said not guilty. But in Italy, unlike in this country, when you're found not guilty, it's not over. The prosecution can appeal, and they did to the Supreme Court. And what the Supreme Court said was not, not guilty. And they sent the case back down to the appellate court, and that's what happened yesterday, the verdict of guilty. So where does that leave Amanda Knox right now? She's in phase two of all this. She now can appeal this and will appeal this to the Supreme Court, and that will be the final verdict in her case in Italy. So it's a little confusing, much different than what we do here in the United States. But Amanda Knox has one more bite of the apple in Italy in front of that Supreme Court.